Welcome to part three of our Pi Game Zero simple game. Uh, in the previous two videos, we've uh, set up the background or the screen for the game, and then we've also created the character and added them to the arena or to the screen, the window where the game takes place. In this video, then, we're going to add three simple definitions. Uh, the first one is going to move the character across the screen. The second one is going to enable you to um, press the, the button welcome to part three of our Pi Game Zero simple Pi Game Zero update um, in the previous two videos then we have created a background and we've also added the character to the game in this part of the video we're gonna complete two more functions the first function is going to update and move the character across the screen and the second function is going to enable us to click on the character with the mouse and then respond if we click the uh, the character. So let's have a look then at getting the character to move. So the first thing we need to do is create a function called update and what this means is that the program is going to update um, and every time it updates we want it to, to do something. So we are going to move the character to the left of the screen. So we go game underscore hero so that uh, is our character here or actor and we want to move them left and then we are going to move them two spaces. So game the hero to the left. Now if it hits the edge of the window obviously we want the character to come back round again. Uh, we don't want the character to carry on across the screen forever and ever and ever an eternity and, and never return. So we're going to use an if statement and we're going to check if game hero is on left is greater than the width Then we want to set the game hero on to the right zero. So what this means then is the width is 1000 and what we're saying here is if the game hero moving across here is to uh, is over a thousand so a thousand and two or a thousand and one then we want to move the game hero back to the right hand side. Okay now um, here is the left, here is the right, but obviously when we're looking at it, this is the left, this is the right hand side. Um, so if the game hero hits the left, it's higher than a thousand, so a thousand and two and onwards, then we're going to drop it back down to the beginning. So it comes in, or the character comes in here from the right, and they should move across the screen. Let's try it then. So we're going to save it, press run. Uh, other game character window open. Let's try it then. Press run. And there is our character. Fairly slow at the moment. Obviously we can speed them up by changing that to 5. Okay, so moving off the screen. Hits the screen, comes back on the left hand side. So now our character is moving uh, across the screen. So the next thing to do then is to set up our function for the mouse. So here we go. This is going to be define the function first and this is on mouse down. So on underscore mouse down. That means when you press the mouse button down and the mouse has to be told where to uh, where it's clicking. So it's clicking in the position. So if I click here, that's the position. Click there, that's the position. Click there, that's the position. So on mouse in its current position. 
And what I need to do is check that it's actually the mouse is touching the character. So again, it's an if statement. If game hero dot, and I'm going to use something called collide point. Now, if you collide with something, you hit it. And then add the pos. So what I'm doing here, I'm saying if the game hero and check the collision point, and the collision is the game hero with the mouse, obviously the position of the mouse and the position of the character, Luigi, if they are the same, then I want to print a message. Oh, on that one. I want to print the message, you got me. Now this message is going to appear uh, in the bottom, in the uh, output down here, not on the screen. But later on in one of the other videos, I'll show you how to um, add a add, add speech to the character. Okay, so if you hit it, it's going to do that. Let's run it and try it out. So here's the character going across the screen. Now if I click here, obviously I'm not clicking on the character. There's no collide point. So it won't do anything. But if I click the character, look down here on the left, you got me. So every time I click the character, it says you got me. When I don't click the character, I don't get any uh, any response. Uh, but I don't know I'm not clicking the character because I need to add in the else statement. So let's go to the line here. And we're gonna put an else statement in. And what we want to do is print, uh, let's have the message, you missed me. Okay. And we are going to um, keep the game hero image. I keep on putting in that one as a dot, game hero image equals embross. And we're going to pay a sound. Now at the moment we haven't got any sound, so we will add this line and I'll show you what you need to do in a minute. So eep dot play. So if you miss the character, it's going to play a sound, but I haven't set the sound up yet. So we're just going to comment that one out. And uh, what we want to do here is to change the image. Okay, so we're going to change the image to something different. At the moment, if you click him, he stays the same. Okay. Um, if we go to our images, we can see we've got one called Pi, PNG. So I'm going to call and use that one in there. Okay, let's run it. It was a bit quick there, wasn't it? Let's start again. So run. Right, if I click the character, it's going to tell me that I hit them. Okay, you got me. If I miss them, change to a Raspberry Pi. Okay. Let's keep him the same, but let's add in this sound. So what we need to do here then, first of all, is go to our um, file and we need to create a new folder called sounds. Okay, must be sounds, must be in lowercase, um, and then we can uh, we can add the sounds in. The sounds are stored, we go back to the github, so this is github.com slash techoed, and we're going to repositories, simple game, sounds and we're going to right click save the link as no we're not we're going to open up first okay i'm going to download this now you need it in the folder first so one way to do this is probably to go to pi downloads Doesn't download it. Okay. Let's 
go right click save as there we go wave now uh, pi and we're going to go to sounds make sure these lowercase save so we're saving there keep it called eep because that's the name of the uh, file here right so sounds.eep okay sounds.eep which means it will play the sound if you touch it touch the character here we go so missed <coughs> Now it's playing on mine, but it might not be coming through on the um, on your audio on there. Right, so there's our character. Um, I think we can change this around a bit. So if you miss the character, they're there. Let's add in. If you hit the character, they change to the pie. So it's just. Uh, Paste that in. Don't have a paste of that. So game hero bros copy. And then we're gonna go into here. Um pi. So this time if you hit them they change to the pi, otherwise they don't. So run that. There's my character. So if I miss them, it stays the same. Plays a little eep sound. You missed me, you missed me. If I click it changes back to the pie and if I miss them changes it back to um, Luigi okay so that uh, is nearly the end of our basic simple pie game zero um, what we're going to do in the last video is have a look at adding a background in and um, that completes the game. You can then play around, add some more characters in, uh, change the directions and play around with some of those features.